Uh, this is from the chapter of Joseph. This word here, for example, again, you don't need to know Arabic. You see a, a circle right here, okay? And this word, it's, it's uh, لا تأمنى, okay? And if you, it's in Arabic grammar, again, there's a problem here because according to Arabic grammar, it should be, there's an additional noon which is missing, an additional N. So there should be another tooth there, you know? So you see there's a, there's a little nudge here, tooth. According to the rules of Arabic grammar, there should be additional one. There should be another one here, but it's not. Okay, so the word should be ta'manuna tu nuna. However, it is written in the text with one n. So reciters were also uneasy with that. So what do we do with that missing n? So what they did is they put a circle right here. Okay, and they said, okay, well we have to stick with the script. We can't change it. Okay, this is how the companions uh, codified the Quran. So what we do is we say uh, we recite ta'manna. So if you look at me, na. Okay. However, I move my lips and I make a shape of u, but I do not pronounce u. Okay. So I say basically ma laka la ta'manna. Right? And that's how you do it properly. Right? So you play around. You do a trick, and you are not touching the script. Okay, but you are telling the audience, you are telling the person uh, who is listening to you, wait, this is, this is, uh, Arabic grammar is there, I'm not like really getting rid of Arabic grammar, so look at my lips. I know that there is a U there, but it's not in the script. Okay, so let us both be happy. I'm happy, and <laughs> reciting as the text as it is, you are happy as a grammarian because, you know, you want an U, so I'm giving you an U. A-U-E in Arabic is extremely important, so.